Question 21. Amy thought of a number. Now, any time there's a mystery number, we'll call it a question mark. She added 0 0.5 to her number. Then she doubled the result. Then she subtracted 0 0.5 and then doubled the new result. Her final answer was 61. What number did Amy start with? Now, the easiest way to do this is to basically draw a number machine to describe what's going on. So from the start of the question, we have a mystery number. So let's call that question mark. Then on the first part of the number machine, we're adding 0 0.5. So put that on the first arrow. On the second part of the number machine, we're doubling the result. So doubling is the same as times by 2. On the next step that she does, the next part of the number machine, she's subtracting 0 0.5. Subtract 0 0.5. And on the final bit, she doubled the new result again. So we want another times two. So she does four steps. Each of these four steps needs an arrow as part of the number machine. Her final answer was 61. So out the other end of the number machine pops 61. Now all we need to do is work this backwards and reverse everything. So we need to reverse the times 2. The reverse of times 2 is divide by 2. The reverse of subtract 0 0.5 is add 0 0.5. The reverse of times 2 is divide by 2. And the reverse of add 0 0.5 is to subtract 0 0.5. And if we work backwards from 61 through these steps, we will get back to this mystery number here, which is what we're looking for. So let's have a look. 61 divided by 2. Well, half of 60 is 30, and half of 1 is 0 0.5. So it's going to be 30.5. 30.5 add 0 0.5 will give us 31. 31 divided by 2. Well, half of 30 is 15, and half of 1 is 0.5. So it's going to be 15.5. And then subtract 0 0.5 is going to get me to 15. So it looks as though the mystery number is 15. So let's write that in there. But let's just double check. If this mystery number, this question mark here, equals 15, let's see what happens. 15 add 0 0.5 would be 15.5 double the result, well double 15 is 30, double 0.5 is 1, so double the result is going to be 31. Subtract 0 0.5 from 31 is going to be 30.5, and double 30.5, double 30 is 60, double 0.5 is 1, put the two together, 60 and 1 makes 61. So it does seem to work. If we start with 15 as the mystery number and follow these instructions, we do get back to 61. So 15 is the correct answer.